Hey guys, welcome back to the videos. I'm your host, Killer Keenstar, and today we've got my bike in my bedroom. Um, d d don't ask why it's in my room. Um, but anyway, today, guys, uh, we are going to be, I don't know, cleaning my bike, but also giving it some new parts because I got some new wheels. Here, let me show you. New wheels. Yeah, and I've also got new grips. New grips. Anyway guys, the first step I take to uh, clean my bike is I get a microfibic towel. Um, I'll probably put it in a little bit of water just to make it damp. Uh, because when you're wiping down your bike, um, you never really want to do it when, it's, when the mud is dry. Uh, the reason why is because you can actually scratch the paint if like the mud is kind of too hard. Guys, so I've just given it a quick little wipe down uh, just a along like the surface just to get rid of um, just the loose bit of mud that there is. I am going to take it apart now and I'm going to be cleaning it a little bit more thoroughly. As you can see guys, there's still a lot of mud in all the other creases and there's going to be some bits that are going to be really hard to get to. Like your fork for example, your fork is going to accumulate a lot of mud on the inside as I'm sure you might not be able to tell here, but also like the wheel hubs um, and like the inside of things, they're gonna be the hardest bits to get. So what you really wanna do is you wanna take apart all of your bike. you need to take apart your cranks very oftenly guys because uh, they do tend to get pretty stuck on uh, as you can kind of tell there is no bolt there there's no bolt in it uh, there's no bolt in the sprocket I just took that off and it's still not coming off so it's really important if you have any kind of bike take the cranks off your bike like I'd say roughly once every three or four months I guess because otherwise if you don't this is gonna happen and this is what's fucking me okay so i finally managed to get the crank off you have no idea how many hits i had to how many times i had to hit it and i've also made a few marks on the inside of my crank now which is fun guys finally we've basically got the full frame uh i'm just going to continue on with wiping it all down and uh i'll get back to you when we do something else okay guys so as you can see i've actually just laid out all my bike parts just over here and that's because what i'm gonna do i need to go out in, in, into town because i need to get some inner tubes for my new tires because obviously uh, my tyres are actually flat at the moment, they're completely busted, I did, and I needed to replace these tyres everywhere uh, anyway. I thought I would show you something before I left that I think is really going to help you clean all of your bolts and all your spacers. So let's get on to it. First of all, you boil the fuck out of some water and then pour it in the sink. And then you put your stuff in the sink and then pour a little bit of fairy liquid in that bitch pour some of that water get nice and bubbly and just kind of leave it there and then look at all the dirt that comes off amazing okay so i'm back and we've still got all this to clean up now uh, now as you can probably tell that's a lot of mud and it's all along here and there and there's going to be a little bit in this tucked in the corner of that so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to give it you know, a wipe down make sure all the dirt's gone and then dry it with the towel um, these are all drying out on here because I just took them out of the sink. If I actually, you know what, I'm going to dry these first and then I'm going to do this.
Okay guys, so the bike is now officially clean, at least the frame is. So now what we gotta do next, we gotta get the forks done because they are greasy and as crusty as hell. So what we're gonna do, um, I made the mistake of not taking my actual wheels off first, uh, cause that would have made all of this a hell of a lot easier. Um, but we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna take the wheels off and then once the wheels off, I'm gonna clean the fork. That's literally what I need to say. I overcomplicate everything. Um, here's a microwave in my bedroom. Okay, so I successfully managed to, uh, stay, to, to, uh, to get the, the fucking wheels off the, the... I'm sorry, okay, I'm not a big flex usually, but look how crisp, clean, and shiny I have managed to get these forks. Look how shiny they are. You could put this on a pedestal somewhere and, and some dude would be like... Damn, something. With my forks, now is the trickiest part of the whole process, and that's the wheels. Now, with these things, uh, it's in between here, like where the spokes are. That's, that's the real problem. But we're gonna try and do it as quickly as we can. And then finally, we get to put the bike back together and put these bad boys on. Okay, so I've done the wheel. Um, haven't actually dried it yet. But um, I'm not gonna film it for the next wheel because this wheel already took enough time already. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, this wheel's done. I'm just gonna do the next one and then after that, we will be ready to put the bike together and I'm really excited for it. But before we put it together, we're gonna have to greet it. So we've got, we'll get onto that a little later. Um, so I will see you then, um, when we're greasing shit. Okay, so guys, I got everything cleaned up, absolutely everything. It's all dry, it's all clean, even the bolts and everything. So now all we have to do is re-grease everything, uh, get a new coat of grease and all, and all this stuff, uh, and then just put the bike back together. Okay, so, I got, uh, got one inner tube, I got one wheel, and I got one tire, so... Let's just, uh, let's just, just fucking do this, I guess. Hey, watch this. Whoa. Whoa, what's this? Oh my God, it looks fucking sick. Look at how cool it looks against my wall. Anyway, uh, I've never used that word in my life. And as if I've got to do the other tire now, and this took like 20 minutes to do. Oh yeah, just something cool I thought I'd uh, mention about my bike, which I just noticed. Even the text on the inside of the bike is teal color. I just thought that was sick. Okay guys, so now I've officially pumped both tyres up. They're fully complete now. Um, the only thing I've got to do is uh, grease everything up and then I can put the bike together. So uh, I'm just going to film all that in a time lapse right now. Oh yeah, my dad found some paint which was identical to the frame, so we touched it in a little bit. So yeah, thanks for that, dad. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Ben's filming now, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Mm. But anyway, um, this is this is a good hack. Um, if you want to know how to get barons out, barons. <laughs> you get your your fucking Swiss Army knife or one of these things, a corkscrew thingy, and uh. Just kind of twist the fucking thing in. It's just... Like unscrewing a white bottle. Yeah, this is Pretty tricky sure. though, because my bar ends have been messed up. Hopefully yours are probably exactly the same actually. If you've been riding for a long time and you're changing your grips, but still. Fucking... 
And look. Just twist in. That's the noise you make when you skirt around corners. Yeah. The hardest bit is actually pulling it out. That's what she said. Look at this. Oh, Jesus Christ, how the fuck? Jesus Christ, okay, so there's one. Okay, so I didn't really explain it well in this clip, but basically I was just putting my grips on. But uh, if you want to know how to do it an easy way, use rubbing alcohol. It's a really easy way to do it, and that's just what i done. You just pour it all along there, guys, and then you get your grip on as fast as you can. It's finally fucking done. Guys, I've done it. It's done, the fucking, the bike is as good as it's ever been. It's probably better than new at the moment. I mean, my dad says, you know, no, you're not done because you need to touch and all this stuff with the paint. Well, you know what, I might do that. I might do that for a video, but, um. Really stop limiting the video with video, me. man, anyway, what are you Hi, saying? People. Yeah, welcome back. This is the fucking bike. I'm about to go and ride it for the first time. All I did was like do the grips and the wheels, but like it's not, I mean, it wasn't just that. Like, I cleaned the hell out of this thing. So, yeah, that's the bike for 2021. I kind of like it. It's fucking sick. I really fucking like it. It looks so. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, I'm gonna go out for a ride. So, um, I, I also need to pump the tyres up. And I might need to bash in the bar ends a little bit. This has literally only just been done. But anyway, I'm talking too much here. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.